Hi, I'm Helen Underwood from Underwood Training First Aid and like many of you I'm now home working so this video is taken in our back garden and there's been yet another update to the recommendations for first aid for the layperson that is the non-healthcare professional and I know some of you are out there still working in schools for key workers children and others of you will be like myself and my family isolating at home so I just wanted to update you on these changes big change, extra change now, is to have something across the casualties nose and mouth before you commence chest compressions. So what I'm going to do is just run through for you what we would do in a situation if a casualty is collapsed and we'll assume that this casualty is not going to be breathing when I check. So gloves on if we have them, if you're at home isolating you may not do. Assessing the danger, checking it's safe and in I come. Are you alright? It's Helen here. Are you alright? I've got somebody down. Can anyone help? Checking for breathing. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nine, nine, nine. Ambulance call. Casualty not breathing. If you suspect that they may have COVID-19 or flu-like symptoms, let them know. Put a cloth of some description over the casualty's nose and mouth and then commence high quality chest compressions. That is heel of the hand in the centre of the chest on the breastbone, aiming for about six centimetres deep for an adult, five to six centimetres deep, at a rate of about two per second and that is to the tune of staying alive but I'm not going to subject you to my singing. So for those of you who have done first aid before, the first major change, make sure you're well away from the casualty's mouth when checking for response and when we're checking for breathing, do open that airway, head tilt, chin left, otherwise the tongue may be blocking the throat and we're going to check with a bit of bare flesh just above our glove over the casualty's mouth while we watch the chest and abdomen for a movement there. Remember, belly and chest movement alone does not mean a casualty is breathing. You need the air actually to be passing up through the windpipe. You need to know they are shifting air. If they are breathing, you can simply roll them onto the side, recovery position, and await the ambulance service. And I'll try and do another video later this week for you, showing you a really good way of how not to uh, get too close to the casualty's head when rolling someone over. What we're then gonna also change is that after we've phoned the ambulance, we're going to get some sort of towel or cloth over the casualty's nose and mouth before we commence the chest compressions. There has been absolutely no guideline change recommended to CPR for children. Children usually respiratory arrest, that is their breathing stops before their heart rhythm stops. So for them, breaths are still in at present. If you are in a workplace where there is an AED, an automated external defibrillator available, absolutely do use this without delay it's perfectly safe to use but we are just not going to do the breaths for adult casualties finally remember not to touch your face if you are dealing with another casualty after you've done your first aid wash your hands really really well hot soapy water before thinking about touching your face it's very tempting to swipe your hair out your eyes but it's an absolute no-no to do that if there are any more updates that I come across, I'll put something out through social media as soon as I come across them. Thanks for watching.